today we will be making um, head wreaths or hair pieces or crowns made out of flowers. Now the best ones to do are actually the wild flowers in your yard and so we found plenty and you can also use um, grass. Yeah, you can use grass and these are poppies um, flowers and these you cannot rip if you just see them randomly. Um, if they grow in your yard like they do in ours, you can. So um, to get started, um, you first have to make sure that the piece is very long, your first piece. And then, oops, you get a flower, and the longer they are, the better it is. It's easier to work with when they're long. And you make a loop, and then you go inside. Like tight. Yeah, it's just like tying. That's correct, Esther. But gentle. Yeah, you have to be very gentle because you could rip it. And so you, and then you go like that. So that one I did not rip. And then you connect these two pieces together. So you're holding that while you're working. And then you do the process again. Now you can add whatever you want. Um, for Esther's one, we, we put different kinds of flowers. And it's a little harder, I think, the one I made. The one I'm wearing is much easier to um, make and it's um, much stronger. It's not, it's, oops, see, that one broke. So then we try again. A new one. Yeah, and you just do it slowly. When I was growing up, um, I loved doing this. And when we go fishing with my husband and my son, um, if I see wild flowers, I love to pick them and um, to make these. They're so relaxing and it's just so pretty. And so um, you continue to do this. I don't know if you can see this. Uh -oh, so you make like a loop and see. And then you go inside. And then you close it. So you're gonna have this and you're gonna continue to do this. You're gonna add. And my advice is Esther, like if you could see Esther's Esther, can you show them? Um, this one, Esther, she's this is her first time doing it and she's doing a great job, but See, she's kind of um, making it everywhere, like on both sides, and you kind of want to stick to one it side. It doesn't want to stay on one side. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're having a hard time? Well, you kind of make sure that they kind of go on one side, and so they don't go... See, the flowers aren't on this side, they're on this side. And then I'll show you, when you, when you keep going, it's going to take a long time, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. You keep going, going until it's the desired length, and you can kind of measure on your head. And then when you get to the end, I'll show you this one. When you get to the end, um, you don't have to have all these flowers. You can have the stems. That's why it's nice when it's long because um, the stems will be here. And then you connect them. And I use this, um, it's like floral tape. And you can get this at the dollar store. And I just wrap it around. You rip it and you just wrap it around these two pieces. And you can tie it. And, but if you wrap it, kind of move them with your hands, it will stay. And then we got these. This is like a curling ribbon. And just... Make sure they're kind of the same length and you use your scissors and you curl them. And yeah, if you can see inside um, over here, see they're kind of all going on one side, most of them. And they're pretty tight, you know, they're, they're pretty sturdy and they'll just dry up. You could probably put them in the fridge, this in the fridge and kind of will last longer. But um, I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something and these are fun and pretty. Have fun.